Uh, next time you board a plane, please don't be, please don't be that person that just reclines all the way back. I don't know, that extra three inches you get, it certainly is so comfortable. So comfy. Oh, I'm so and comfy. doesn't it all impose on the person behind you? No. Courtney joined again by <laughs> our etiquette expert to share a few more tips on oh. not being that oh. jerk on the plane. Oh. oh, okay, let's get it together. Let's get it together because <laughs> we've been talking about this being travel season, right? Rosalinda Randall, a civility expert with us this morning, talking about not to be that annoying person on the plane, including that restless passenger who just can't seem to get <laughs> comfortable enough. <laughs> yes, and then their feet go into your area, yes. and especially if they take their shoes off or they have no shoes, they have, Ooh. and they touch your backpack <laughs> that's no. under your seat. No. Rub. No. Oh, no. The, uh, my list so goes cringy. on. Yeah. Um, I don't want yeah. that. But yeah, the restless passenger. I mean, yeah. I know some people have medical reasons or sure. that they're going through something and that's fine one thing that i would recommend is tell someone that happened to, mm. to me i don't know a couple years ago um and someone said you know i have back issues so i'm going to be getting up and down regularly yeah and it's like well then pick an aisle seat yeah. you want to really say <laughs> yeah. you, know, you should have thought ahead of time but i understand and it, and it does uh, have your seatmates be a little bit more tolerant and understanding. Because they're aware. Yes, and you're explaining. Mm -hmm. And maybe I would say, well, why don't we switch seats? You know, sometimes that that that's all it requires, yeah. just yeah. to be sympathetic to someone or empathetic. Okay, so let's say you're in the terminal and you are enjoying your lunch. You're having the garlic, uh, you know, <laughs> stir fry with a side <laughs> of feta. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but you didn't quite finish. So you're just going to finish it on the plane. Mm, don't sit next to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I understand some people do buy it quickly. They sure. just made it. And, you know, there are so many circumstances. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're sitting there and you bought your food and it's 45 minutes before you plane, I never understand why it's not eaten there. Yeah, yeah. Um, somebody explained to me that they just enjoy it better and then they don't have to worry about, you know, the line and whose number got called. I, I don't I don't know. But if you can you know, avoid eating pungent food. Yeah. I just say it should all be banned at airports. Like no <laughs> onions, no garlic, no curry, no Brussels sprouts. I mean, because you oh, just sure. take it on there. And especially if it's a nine o'clock flight in the morning, oh, you don't man. want to smell That's certain foods, but yeah. 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 Okay. What about that person? Who's sitting next to you and they are really loud talker. I'm sorry, I like really, hear you, really loud. <laughs> yeah. I don't want that. Well, if they're talking <laughs> at you really, really loud, you might excuse yourself, you know, oh it was great talking with you, but I need to sort some things out or yeah, I, yeah. I need to rest or go to the restroom, come back and hope they found somebody else to talk to. <laughs> uh, but you might say, you know, I'm so sorry, I have a, a, a little headache. Yeah. Oh. You know, if you don't mind. Yeah. You know, it's a lie, but it's mm -hmm. a white lie. So it's uh, to prevent kindness. And if it doesn't stop or they're behind you and they're not talking at you, because uh -huh. I've been on a plane where they're cussing and screaming and, you know, there's children sometimes yeah. involved. That's where the flight attendants get involved and I would involve them. Loud okay, now you mentioned <laughs> loud noises. You mentioned children. Sometimes we've got oblivious parents. We had a story uh, a few weeks ago about uh, a mom who was asked to pick up the popcorn that her kids spilled mm -hmm. all over the plane. I mean, and she didn't want to. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lot of people look at that as well. I'm a passenger. I paid. That's your job to clean it. Mm -hmm. Just like in hotels, people mm -hmm. make a mess. Like, too bad. That's your job. Um, I think the flight attendant was correct in asking. I think as parents, I flew with my children, two of them, for years pre video games. Oh yeah. And we manage. You just make do. You know your children. You bring certain things. And yeah, you ask people around you again to be tolerant. But when they ignore kicking of the seat and you ask them and they still do, I, I, flight attendant. I mean yeah. that's. It's really the go-to person if it gets that bad or change seats if possible. Okay, we've run out of time, but oh. real quick, that person who just has to go right now and just ready to disembark in this moment. I don't care what okay. you have going on. Yes, but... you mess up everyone else. We can't get out. Your backpack's in my face. Your bottom is in my face <laughs> when you're trying to get out. All of that. And I have to say, my top two are people who don't shower and bringing your smelly pillows from bed that you oh. never change oh, the pillowcases yeah. from. And I have to smell that. Please, That please. weird pillow smell? Yeah. A quick shower. That's all it That's takes. That's all we're asking. Yeah. It's, it's, it's uh, the things that you don't think about until you're already on the plane. Oh my. Doggone it. Yes.
It's such a pleasure to see you I'm in person. I'm so glad to Rosa be back Linda Randall, don't you. burp in the boardroom, people. We're going to link all the details <laughs> for her uh, social media and such on our website, GoodDaySacramento.com, under show info and today's date. Got to go. Got to go. Yeah. Got to go. <laughs> Got <That's>, to uh, <laughs> <gotta go. laughs> <laughs> that weird pillow smell she's talking yeah. about. It's like sweat, but also like someone else's house. Uh -oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. By the way, this therapy was very good for me. Yeah. I appreciate you. Yeah. Oh, great. Great. Love it.